I mentioned that the SSS case was coming up next. Before we get to that case though, I need to remind you guys about what it takes to actually be a triangle, the side lengths that we have, because we're going to be dealing with three sides. One thing to remember is this uh, triangle inequality is that if we're actually going to make a triangle, these three inequalities have to hold true on any triangle. So that means that if I've got some triangle with side lengths A, B, and C, that these two added together have to be greater than the third, these two have to be greater than the other one, and then the other pair has to be greater than the third side. So every pair of sides added together has to be bigger than the opposite side that's left over. So when we think about maybe doing uh, an SSS triangle when we're trying to find the, the missing angles, we should first of all look at the side lengths and see does it actually make a triangle. So if I've got this first example with 2, 4, and 5, um, 2 plus 4, that is greater than the third side of 5. 4 plus 5 is greater than the other side, 2. And then the only other combination is 2 plus 5, and that is greater than the one that's left over, which is a 4. So if all those inequalities hold true, then we can actually have a triangle. On the flip side, we have an example like this, and you might notice right away, 1 plus 5 added together is not greater than 8. So that would mean right off the bat that this is not a triangle. And that's something you should determine right away because if it's not a triangle, then we shouldn't go through all the work of law of cosines and trying to figure out the, the angles that don't exist.